Golf is hard. No matter how many good shots you hit, a bad one is inevitable. Yet the younger generation is still drawn to the course, leaving former high school golfer Jackie Tai offering advice for the new wave. I would say the club that they need to focus on is the 9-iron. That, that's a really nice club to build your foundation and baseline, and you can just move on from there. However, the 9-iron is probably the best to build your tempo up. There's also golf course residents like Brian Seamus, whose backyard is literally a golf course, shacked up behind a putting green and a sand trap. He sees all the players who walk or ride through. Oh yeah, always remember, you're not a professional and you don't do this for a living. Because if you were to use your actual, uh, your, your actual golf game to gauge whether you want to continue playing the sport or not, uh, it could probably go sideways really quickly. If you're new to golf, something you could try doing is playing two balls at once. Or you could play a scramble with your friends playing best ball. Focusing on the scorecard won't do you any good early on. Just have fun. Like Jalil Mustafa, a new golfer who plays scrambles and is just starting to piece it together trying to break 90 on 18 holes. The biggest difference I've noticed so far would definitely be my consistency. I don't top balls as much, I hit them pure, and now I hit the ball a lot farther, probably 20 to 30 yards farther than normal. Mustafa still hits bad shots like everyone, but playing two balls makes sure one gets in play and gets him a chance at a putt. He knows it's a long road ahead, but he's eager to break 90. Typically, probably around a year or more, and I can't wait. It's going to be a great feeling. Holden Wheeler, Fresno State Focus.